<laughs> Let's go here. <laughs> We burst and like when I and when I burst, I'm very outspoken. Like I will really fucking, I will literally, if I could, I, when I have one of the, my bad moments, I just, I, I will literally get here and curse out everybody and fucking be like, I want you to die, bitch. I want to die. I don't give a fuck because that's just how I just be feeling at the moment. So I was just very overwhelmed yesterday. I was very sad. Um, and um, I don't know. Like I just felt like I was just having such a good week. I just felt like I was just having such a good week, and then I felt like. When I got home and I just started seeing so much, I started paying t attention to so much shit that people were saying about me and all the funny shit about me. I just started like getting upset about it. And I was just like, oh, I just wanted to burst. Like I just, I just had one of those moments yesterday. And they're like, you know, like when you just have one of those moments that it's just like, bitch, I don't even want to be here. Like mentally, like I just don't even want to be here. But like, you know what? I just, I just feel like I needed like one of those. I feel like I needed one of those days where I let it out. <laughs> I just want to say a lot of shit. Um, even today, I, I feel a little bit down. I was a little overwhelmed. I was crying so much this morning, but I feel a little bit better. Me and my sister, we went out, we went and chill, went to the Bronx, went to a little lounge. We drank a little bit. We took some fucking pictures. And, um, uh, tomorrow I'm just gonna like take the day off. Cause on Friday I have to go out of town for a very long time. And, um, and I'm going to chill with my friends, too. I want to chill with my friends because my friends always cheer me up. That's the good thing about me, that I have a lot of friends and I have a lot of family. They would cheer me up. I just want to say a lot of shit. Um now, for those who don't know, um, Cardi B uh, has some tweets that she had that she uh, tweeted out. on, And that's what she was responding to. She was responding to all the tweets and uh, the negative black backlash that she got from them, right? So she put out some tweets out there. Because earlier this week, she was, uh, I guess she was on Clubhouse previewing some music with Offset. They were listening to his album. And then, you know, she put some shit out there. And then, you know, people was basically saying, ah, shit, trash, ah, you and so she started responding back to them. And she just said, uh, <laughs> Cardi, the only Mexican I know that don't work hard. <laughs> Whoa. So then she comes back and say, hope your mom die, which Cardi B throws that out just frequently. She just throw it out like it ain't nothing. Like, I hope your mom die. So that's what she was saying in there. Uh, like, I just want to put a bullet in my head. Right. And then, uh, well, damn, I had the same thing twice. So, yeah, so she was saying that how she want to die and all that other stuff. Now, I was saying that Cardi B can't take the pressure anymore, right? Uh, <laughs> she can't take the pressure anymore. Because who remembers when Cardi B came out? When Cardi B came out, you know, she was doing her big Instagram thing, right? And she was... You know, she'll wake up, hair all over her head, ain't brushed her teeth yet, running around a little dirty house and all that other extra shit. And did not care about how people judged her. At least, well, that's how she came off. Like, oh, I don't, I don't care, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but I'm just gonna get my shit off. Let me tell my story. Bah, 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 bah. Right? But, like, now she can't take the, re the criticism that's coming at her about her music. So then she had another tweet where she dropped it and said, like, well, I'm not fuck that i'm not drop i'm not dropping the album and it's like damn you so shook you know what i'm saying like what the people liked you for right everybody liked her for her realness her rawness her just being outspoken and saying whatever she wanted to say do whatever she wanted to do oh i'm gonna beat a bitch up and if you got beef with me it's gonna be beef forever remember all that shit and now she has to think about her whole family husband and children Mama, daddy, sister, everybody she takes care of because she has, she has got such a big bag that she's scared to lose that shit. So when, let's say she, her writer, let's say she's looking for another writer because like, let's not front, Cardi got some hits. You know what I'm saying? She got some shit that's like, damn, this is a good song. You get what I'm saying? So let's say she's looking for a new writer or she's not comfortable with her new writing or like she's not feeling the sound and it fucks with her mind because she'll just scrap whole songs. And like, it's been years now. Cardi done had a whole baby. That baby like five years old. She still hasn't put out a second album. It's 
scary. Scary. So like all that front shit that you put in on for us, it don't mean a damn thing now because you shook. You shook because you because the shit ain't working no more. Everybody want to set. Everybody want to see why you got a Grammy. Everybody want to see why they like you. Do we still like her music? And she's not. She's so unsure of herself that she's goddamn scared. Ain't that crazy? Because we think that like, yeah, I can't wait till I get some money, and I can't wait till I'm a millionaire, and I can't wait till I can do this and that and this and that and this and that. I'm gonna really show everybody what I'm made of. And you get there, and you can't fucking perform. Scary shit, man. Scary shit. And I'm not even like, you know, what I'm saying I'm not dumping on Cardi, but damn, I would hate to get somewhere. They call that imposter syndrome. So that's what she must be dealing with. You know what I mean? I don't like all that, uh, you know, narcissistic and all the, all the buzzword turns that's going around. I don't like all that. Only reason I don't like it is because people aren't professionals in these fields. They go and read the internet and they automatically think, oh, that's what I got. Or that's what he got. Or that's what she got. And it's like, bitch, you don't know. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know me from top to goddamn bottom. You got to see me on some, you got to see me in this situation, in that situation, in that situation to be able to tell me that I'm a narcissist. So when I say that she has imposter syndrome, that's just what it looks like from afar. And if you don't know what imposter syndrome is, it's like, yes, Cardi has a Grammy. Imposter syndrome is basically where you just be scared. You be shook than a motherfucker to be like, oh, they going to find out I can't really rap. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, so that's what I'm, I'm guessing. This is my speculation. That's what Cardi B is going through. Like, damn, they're going to really feel like they're going to really just take the bag from me because I can't rap. I can't. I'm not going to be able to feed my family. And blah, 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 blah. So when she be saying like how she was saying, like, man, I get scared and yada, da da. Hey, Sade. Oh, uh, come on. That's what I was saying. That's also what I was saying, too. Now that I'm because <laughs> we about to move on to another topic. The goal as I go live, right, is always to at least sell one or two games. You know what I'm saying? And people be you, see that might sound small. And even as I'm talking about it with Cardi, that sounds small to people who don't have nothing to sell. You get what I'm saying? But that's a big thing to get off one. To get off one of something that you put your heart, soul, and everything into, like your real time, it feels good. So that's my whole goal is, yes, I would appreciate the cash apps and the PayPal, but, you know, I always want y'all to go get the game. If you ain't got me, get me. <laughs>